Hello! I am Mike and Love Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. I was going to do Android re Asteroid Redirect Mission Part 1. But either Asteroid Redirect Mission Part 1 is broken or Asteroid Redirect Mission Part 1 is just too hard for me. Because oh, I'll start it up and I'll explain why I'm not doing it. Um, step one is to rendezvous. This is a part two thing. So it's going to be one to get close to the asteroid. Um, so I'm just going to ignore all the stuff. So here's the orbit. This green orbit, or well, yellow I guess is supposed to be, is the orbit that you've got. Uh, this is the orbit of the asteroid, I should say, and this is your orbit. And what you are supposed to do is fiddle with the orbit, um, fiddle with this manoeuvre node until you get a really close encounter. And, you know, that's all fine. But you notice how, how fiddly this is. You have the slightest change, and, and the whole everything has changed, changed completely and so I, I have in the past gotten what I thought were pretty good um, intercepts and I do the burn and I have a nice little close intercept thing mark on, on, on the thing but when I actually finish the burn the intercept just disappears and I don't know I don't know how to get it back after that I, that is just the thing I don't know how to do and you notice things like you know that the the, the the it doesn't change smoothly. Um, you know the intercept can just vanish and then suddenly be on the other side or something else, and then you actually have hit, you actually end up hitting the wrong uh, you know. But the main thing is I I do in fact get an intercept or at least what it says is a good intercept, and then I do that burn. And then it says I don't have an intercept anymore. Um, and so, and you, once once the burn is finished, that's it. There's nothing I can do. I cannot get back to it. So I'm not doing that one because I've tried it several times and it's it just I cannot do it. I don't know whether it's because the scenario itself is broken because there have been reports of that being a bit difficult. Or whether I'm just not competent at doing this without precise node or so I'm just gonna do asteroid redirect part two and see if that makes me feel any better. Uh right, well pilot, you caught up to a target asteroid. Oh, I can't see oh there it is. Don't pat yourself on the back yet, we're not even close to done. How about we catch this rock? This is a completely different ship to the one that was in the uh, the previous tutorial model. Right click, the claw. Uh, and arm it. Uh, the modern Marvel technology will grab onto anything that it touches. The boys at the lab had intern hanging from there for a whole day, think they didn't even budge. The equipment has limits, so don't expect to catch asteroids by ramming into them at full speed. Think stepping on a soda can, but one that's uh, worth a lot of taxpayer money. The grappling device, and that's what we're going to handle claw with care. Now, with your grapple arm, target the asteroid, you have no, I haven't already. Slowly and carefully use your RCF thrusters to move towards the asteroid. Once you're close enough, the angle surface is not overly steep. The mechanism will activate on its own and grab this load of valuable and amazing minerals for us. Be patient, take some time, but if you rush it and miss, you make matters worse. If you fail to activate the grapple on the first try, you do have enough RC RCS propellant to back away and try again. So we are in target mode. So let's go towards the target. Let's control from here. I don't. Th I think we're already facing the correct way, so I think that's alright. So I did say, you know, I should use RCS for that, but you know, hey. What I will use RCS for is is backing away and then slowing down. So I'm going to actually time warp a bit. Don't 
Thus far, my prograde and my target are pretty much similar, so I'm not too worried about um, um, what am I not worried about? I'm not worried about having to drift off and do all sorts of clever manoeuvrings. Having said that, I'm just doing one anyway. So I'm, I'm looking really just at the, at the nav ball just down here. Oh, let's, let's slow down. By looking at the nav ball and seeing where the program marker is, I can use the RCS translation controls to try and get that the prograde to be pointing directly on my target. Right, let's Whoa! <coughs> there we go. That was a lot easier than I thought it might be. <laughs> I was kind of, I really, because I forgot for a second, because it said it's like seven meters away. That's not seven meters from the surface. That's seven meters from the center of the thing. And the whole thing has, has got a size. So I kind of went, I should really check, see how close I am. And I was only going at like a couple of meters, less than two meters a second. So that was all right. There you go. Now we'll grab the asteroid. You can pretty much call it yours now, but to make things more official, you should rename it. Rename asteroid. Big Rock 01. Um, right. There's something important to when it comes to moving asteroids efficiency. If you think the way you're grabbing the asteroid doesn't matter, uh, I'd ask you to get up, grab a bag of groceries, and carry it around with your arm fully outstretched at a 90 degree angle from your body. Um, Uh, what am I saying? And then just carrying the bag close by, you normally wouldn't tell me if you can, took the same effort. Right click the asteroid end or keep the same thing up. Target center of mass. Uh, your grapple and the thrust of your ship must obey the same principles. That's why we have a pivot to modify your connections angle and to make aligning your center of mass an ongoing breeze. Right click the grapple. Free pivot. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click that. I'm going to I'm going to pin that. So now I can lock the pivot when I when I want to. What you're trying to do is is using. I'm just making sure I'm target target center of mass. What you're trying to do here is 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 aiming the nose of the ship to the points at the asteroid center of mass. If you can do that, the asteroid will not wobble about or try and drag your ship to the side when the engine is firing. Obviously, that will make it easier for the ship to push the asteroid where you want it to go. Go ahead and adjust yourself until you have better alignment and then lock the pivot again. So, bring on the SAS. Well, I think I'm already pretty much there because... You can see my anti-target is right on the button there. So I'm just going to go... I'm done. So yeah, the idea is I would I would move my RCS around until I was nicely lined up, but I was already nicely lined up, so I think I'm all right. Uh -huh. Now you're all set to start to start redoing the asteroid. Whether you want to use it to study materials, make a mass destruction weapon by dropping it on a world, or create a rocky space station like the pesky mutant, you're going to have to move your pet rock. Uh -huh. While you could start setting up maneuver nodes and burning in order to that heavy load of yours right now, it would come as a great cost. It's better to plan a more efficient approach. Open your target set. Kerbin is your, open your map, set Kerbin as your target. Find the point where Kerbin's orbit is closest to yours. And set a maneuver node opposite to that on the far side of your orbital path. This is when you'll be at lowest velocity, making it much easier to adjust your orbit. The fl that flight plan looks okay. okay. Right, so there, in other words. That's never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, 
But I can't target Kevin. Uh My last device is you used all your plasma skills when you're actually executing the burn. Sometimes it's hard to keep your ship steady when it weighs tens of tons. Also, patience. Um, to be perfectly honest, according to this, what it should do is wait for 40 days to get back here to do the target burn. Um, and I can't, I cannot, I think it's when you're orbiting thing, you can't target it. So I can, I can target Minmus. I can target the month. And that's about it. So if I want to set my orbit to be um, coplanar with Kerbin, I would do it. Uh, technically, I'd want to have done it a little while ago because I've just passed the ascending node. Well, that was easy. See, Actually doing the rendezvous is really hard with asteroids. Really, really, really hard. It is not that easy to do with, it's not terribly easy to do with um, spaceships, but um, doing with asteroids, especially the way, I, d I don't know what it was about that previous mission, but it just wouldn't work for me. Uh, but I've done this one, so that's all fine. So that's apparently the end of that um, tutorial. So that was really easy. Uh, there you go. Think I want if I think if I want to uh, change my inclination, I would do it here. And you can see where we're maneuvering not too badly. Is that pointing? I'm not. There we go. It's not. It didn't. It looks like it wasn't. Doesn't looks like it doesn't show you the normal and anti-normal in target mode, only in orbit mode. So I'm just going to see if this. Oh, that does the exact opposite of what I wanted. I look looks like for the ascending node, you want the anti-target. That's that's pretty spry actually. Right, we'll get rid of those two things. I don't need those no more. There you go. So that's me flattening out the uh Orbit with Kerbin. Yeah. So my nice my orbit is pretty coplanar with, with Kerbin's orbit now. Uh really wish you could set the target with for like that, but you know, you can't. Anyway, I'm not going to play with it anymore. Um, I've done what I set up to do. I've done all the training. Um, so I'm going to say thanks for much watching. Do hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come visit Neil Up Dice at neilupdice.com. We're also available on Facebook and Twitter, and you can find. Uh, can I get out? Do I have a nope, can't exit. I wanted to see if I get out and get a surface sample. Uh, anyway, or put a flag on it, even. Um, anyway, there are links to Facebook and Twitter in the uh, video description. And until next time, reach for the stars.